Barry, first of all, congratulations. Back out there running on the Emerald Headley pitch. How did it feel? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, five and a half months now it's been, um, and the last two and a half weeks we've been building towards this. And we set a goal before I see the specialist on Monday that we wanted to get one field session in. And today we've achieved that. So I'm absolutely over the moon. When you were doing the warm-ups out there, were you getting nervous thinking about what it's going to feel like to, to take that first step off? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, having uh, not run actually full body weight for five and a half months, I was a bit nervous, but more excited, really. Um, I've worked hard to get to this point, and then now we're on the last little bit to get him back to full training. What's kept you going over the last five and a half months to, to get back out there? Um, it's been hard at times, but just that I know that it'll all be worth it in the end, um, getting back to playing with the boys again and training with the boys again and just doing what I've loved since I was a kid. Um, I've had some tough days where it, the, it, the grind becomes hard, but um, you just got to think that w when you're back out there, it'll feel like nothing and it'll make you a stronger person and player. And when you're back out there with a shirt on, people won't have seen the, the hours that you're putting in. You're, you're first in at the training ground, last out doing extras in the gym. Clear, you, you want to come back, not just back to where you were, but, but better. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I sat down with everyone in the team when uh, it, the injury happened and the things that I wanted to achieve while I was injured and uh, one of them was uh, my upper body strength which I've um, really hammered and uh, I've put an extra 20 kilos on my uh, PB for my bench so we've hammered that and now I'm back doing my, what I was before with my lower body strength so I'm really happy with where I am there. Now I'm running, it's just about building and getting back and better than when I broke my leg. Did it feel extra special going for that run around the the Emerald Headley pitch and being back at home here? Yeah, definitely, and the sun was shining. You can't beat playing at Headley when the sun's shining and you've got a full crowd, but hopefully it's not long till uh, everyone's back watching us again and uh, my return, I don't think, will be uh, too far away from that. So I'm absolutely excited now and we're just on the final kick. Yeah, it seems kind of fitting that you, you take this big step forward the day the fixture list comes out for... For the new season, it feels like we're really heading towards the, the new year. Yeah, definitely. And after last year, with all the troubles everyone had and um, the COVID situation, hopefully this year things are going to get sorted and uh, we can't wait to get the fans back at Headingley. And now we've got the full fixture list, we can look forward to the season. And I know you've had a lot of support from the medical teams uh, here, here at the Rhinos and, and from your, your friends and family as well. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I start with my family. They've been absolutely magnificent the whole time. When it first happened, I moved into my mum's because I, I couldn't walk and couldn't do anything for myself. And that feels like ages ago now, but as I'm uh, progressing with my rehab, everything's coming together and it just feels nearer and nearer. And I just can't thank everyone enough for what they've done for me through the whole process. The S&C team, the physios, my family, the coaches and just everyone here at Leeds. You mentioned about the things you wanted to improve with physically when you had this downtime. Do you feel as a person as well, it's... it's brought out a different dynamic in yourself? Yeah, definitely. It's shown uh, really what I've got inside me to achieve what I want to achieve. And uh, you feel like you know what you've got. But when you, something like this happens, it takes a lot to uh, to get yourself up for every day, really. Knowing the boys are training, it's hard to watch. But soon I'll be back out with there with them and I just can't wait. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>